So, Tuesday, um, I should be, Lord willing, right now in Florida, not in my office. Uh, but uh, where we left off, I was uh, came back to my church and uh, surrendered to come back home and train under my dad. Uh, the year would have been 1997 and uh, came back and my job was to start to school and to work with kids. I fell in love with it all. I just uh, loved children's ministry, and invested and poured my heart into it. Um, we saw some amazing things. We would take over 100 kids to camp. Uh, my junior church, we would have over 100 kids in junior church. Um, introduced all kinds of characters. My weird imagination uh, was used. Um, I would create character. I, we, we had an ongoing brother board. It was a two by four. He was the kid's favorite guest speaker. Ask me about it. I'll explain it someday. Uh, but uh, it, we just, we had a great time. Um, started working uh, with the teen class. Loved it. Poured my heart into it. Love those kids still to this day. Um, I, uh, uh, junior church was just my heart in the school. Um, the Lord blessed it. Uh, great things happened. Souls were saved every week. Um, it was just a thrill. Um, I loved it. Speaking of love, let's pause there. Um, 1994, my dad, his first year as pastor at Kazadel, comes up to visit during the preaching conference at the college I was attending, and he brought a group of teenagers with him. I never met any of them, obviously. And, uh, but there's one young lady. Her name was Stacy. And uh, I met her uh, April of 1994. And uh, we started talking. And uh, I liked her. I did. And I uh, went up to her and uh, introduced myself and had a conversation. Towards the last night of the conference, I said, Do you care if I sit with you in church tonight? And she goes, Well, yeah. She said, I have a boyfriend. I'd rather you not. Oh, okay. Went back to the dorm, talked to uh, Aaron, one of the young men that came, and uh, he's like, if you don't have a girlfriend, uh, a boyfriend, she lied to you. I was like, what? So I went to church, and I sat by her anyways. Scooted everybody down and did it anyways. And um, that was not a good move. <laughs> uh, she did not enjoy that at all. Uh, but uh, I did, and um, it didn't start out well. But that summer, um, we just talked and the Lord began to knit our hearts together. Um, you know, I saw, I dated another girl sophomore year, but that was just a miserable year and that wasn't right. And when I came back after my sophomore year, God really began to show me that uh, Stacy was special. And uh, so we, we started seeing each other that, that year. Um, and in just really, uh, the Lord knit our hearts together. That's kind of our nerd, our verse uh, that our hearts might be knit together in love. And uh, Psalm thirty four three, you magnify the Lord with me. Let us exalt His name together. Kind of became our verse. And uh, those two verses, and we um, fell in love. Um, I shouldn't say that. We chose to love each other. That's more biblical. Um, I asked her to marry me in May of 96 and uh, we got married June 21st 1997 right after I graduated um, she wasn't at college maybe my second half of my senior year so um, she got she came home to prepare and work and get ready for marriage and we got married and um, so I start the ministry with her side by side and um, the Lord blessed us with the son, Alex, August the 31st, 1999. Um, but I was so busy in school, I never was home. And I look back at baby pictures, I was never with him. And and something began to stir in my heart again. And God, next couple of years, began to really stir in my heart and unsettling the nest, if you know what I mean. I went and visited a church out east. Uh, had an invitation to come be an associate pastor there. 
I just didn't know what God was doing. And still, I had, of course, um, I had St. Joseph, Michigan on my heart. Do I go start a church there? And uh, the Lord continued to really speak to me. Um, and then um, my dad, the Lord led him to Kansas to pastor a church. July the 4th, the weekend he resigned, 2004. And uh, I didn't know what I was going to do. And just prayed about it. Talked to the church. Long story short, the church offered me the the calling to be the pastor at Gonzado. What about St. Joseph? What about, really? Is this what God wanted? I was 29. Big decisions. 